I woke up late. I have 20 minutes to get ready. I actually woke up at 6 a.m. and I was like, am I gonna be the type of guy to go to the gym at 6 a.m.? And I was like, <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not fucking doing that. I just uploaded uh, yesterday's vlog and I really need to get a new listing. My goal is two, list two new listings in December. December is the hardest month to get a listing because like everyone's waiting until next year or springtime. So I need to really hit up some like high urgency leads. Currently on the calendar, I have an appointment set for today at 4 p.m. That's a listing appointment. And I have another listing appointment tomorrow at 1 p.m. So this week I have two appointments to go on total. What's the goal for the month, Shova? You get another listing. Shelva, I think a goal for you for this week should be yeah. should be to finish Content Academy. Yeah. No, I mean like for real, like that I think that needs to be a priority for you. Yes. So how can you schedule it in your calendar to make sure you're hitting that? Where you been, bro? Yo, I'm gonna go take pictures and record my listings. Nice. Yeah. What's the goal for the month? Minimum three listings. I have this guy I was prospecting this morning. Okay. Uh, this one point one million dollar house. He said, "Follow up on him tomorrow." I'm gonna follow up on him today. Fuck tomorrow. Um, uh, she try to get an appointment with him. I got it in my vlog, so <laughs> so I'm not waiting for tomorrow for that shit. I'm getting him today. So. A heavy focus of these vision calls is building an audience. Okay, like we don't want to just be hunting for deal per de for deal after deal after deal because that's a never ending grind. We want to attract people based on our brand. So, what's the month goal for your? audience i set an appointment nice took me a long time to freak i closed this lady like four times 20 flakes out of 25 appointments set is very high austin do you have access to your recordings uh yeah through enzo okay i want you to send in five let's pick a time like later today and like let's listen to let's listen through them because that's this is excessive but in the meantime let's yep. role play I got two hours uh before i have to head to a listing appointment so i'm gonna be making follow-up calls and you're gonna watch I should be able to set something in this time. Do you have like a time frame on when you guys are thinking about getting serious about this? Well, you are talking about June of next month. All right, so that's, uh, if I follow up correctly, set that appointment, it's it's a $737,000 home. That's $21,000 in commission in June. What's going on? Uh, eventually, yeah, we're not ready yet. That's all right. We're still deciding which, which way we're gonna go. Okay, sounds like you guys got some options, but you definitely decided you do want to make that move. Well, we have too many places and we're getting older. So it's time to, you know, I can't take care of three places anymore. What a great problem to have. Yeah, you so say, I'm not even thinking about it till spring. You, okay, okay. So we're a few months away from the decision. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh. Hey, Wendy. So, let's just say this, Wendy. I'm, let, me, let me throw you a, a hypothetical your way. Mm -hmm. What if we found you that perfect home and like, let's say the next 30 days. Would you make that swap? No. That's no, all I needed to know. Soon. Yeah, it's too soon. Yeah, let's do it. March. Oh, okay. Thank you for calling. This sounds worth 842000 so that's a $24,000 commission. All right, so we've racked up like 60 k for next spring so far, but I don't want to wait until then. Time-wise, an amount of touches. Dude, I'm not about amount of touches. I don't, I'm not about amount of touches. Mine is, if I call them, can I land that appointment? I don't subscribe to the, you gotta touch them 44 times before, no. I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna set the appointment. Each time I'm calling, I'm trying to set an appointment. And obviously like send out texts, send out emails to keep your, you know, to keep your, your top of mind. But like the goal is not touches. That's not the goal. The goal is to set an appointment. Guys, someone watch my new reel and tell me if it's fucking cringe, please. Thanks, Jaeger. I love it. I love my new car. I get excited and happy every time I see it. I'm probably gonna ha stop having that reaction in about 45 days, you know, and then I'll be like, well, why don't I have? Why don't I have an R8? In two months, I'll be like, well, why don't I have a fucking AMG GTR? It's life, I guess, huh? Well, why is this thing not a fucking Lambo? Well, why is my condo not a house? It never ends. It never ends. And then when I, you know, when I get a Lambo, it's like, why don't I have four? You know, <laughs> and it, like, you know, when I when I get a girl, it's always like, <laughs> it's always like. Well, what if I had a hotter one, <laughs> you know? Well, what if I had one that could cook? It never ends. It never, the the desire for more never ends. Silence, yeah, I, wish, uh, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Everyone thinks I was crying in the new reel, but the real ones know. It's because I slept in castor oil and pearl powder on my eyes. I work in commercial real estate. Do you think the academy would work for commercial real estate? I feel like commercial real estate is more based on numbers than residential. The academy teaches you how to set appointments. How do you get someone on the phone? and then convince them to meet with you. You know how to do that? Can you do that? And when you meet with them, how do you convince them to work with you? 
even if the numbers don't really make sense. How do you, do, how do you get them to do that? Do you know how to do that? This isn't really taught anywhere in like real estate school. You could take Keller Williams, Bold and Ignite, you're not gonna fucking learn how to do this. Guys, I think I've reached a level of, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Who cares about what people think of me? I don't care anymore. I don't care that I look like I'm crying. I don't care that I have thumbnails where I, 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 it says going broke. I don't care if people think that. I don't fucking care anymore. I don't care that I made an edit of myself and posted an edit of myself. I don't care anymore. I don't care if you hear my L's on the phone. Let's go. What a freeing feeling it is to, to not care. Sounds good, man. I won't bug you too much because it sounds right, like you're no uh, uh, you, a ways man. out. I don't like the reels that I post. It's so salesy, like, I'm like, trying to sell you guys shit. And on these vlogs, it's just like, here's my day. And I really like, I don't know why. I just feel like when I make a reel, like I've just been like conditioned, I guess, that I need to, I need to pitch something at the end. And I don't like that. I just take, okay, I have another hour. I have one more hour. I have one more hour to set an appointment. Thanks. Do you ever do like a monthly ma direct mailer? Fuck no. Oh, you mean, do I like wasting my time? No. Not at all. Absolutely not. Okay, that's okay. When do you want to move? Okay, No, fact. <laughs> Just got confirmation that my transaction is gonna be closing this month. Woo! Money's a little tight, uh, but after that, I got nothing. So I gotta, I, I need to find two listings this, this month. I gotta get two agreements signed in December or just get two things pending. Two things in contract. Oh, uh, what the fuck? All right, time to set an, I got 50 minutes to set an appointment. 39 a month, years one. Regardless of interest rates, George, what else is stopping you from making that move? It's just the interest rates. It's just, it's so high right now. Like each, even if I was trying to get a house for around six, seven, even 800, it's gonna be, I know how much I can pay and the 600% is not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work out. Okay. So yeah. when interest rates go down, you know what happens to house prices? No. It usually goes up. Really? Yeah. When money gets cheaper to borrow, mm -hmm. uh, there's more demand. Yeah. Which bumps up the price. Um, so there's there's like two sides to this. You got to factor in, George. Like if yeah. rates do go down, like prices are going to go up. Then it's a decision of like, would you rather have low prices and high rates and then eventually hopefully refinance that rate down into something better or would you wait for a lower rate but then the the prices are higher the house and prices do, and, yeah and do you want to be locked in on that like which which of the two evils would you rather yeah, take you know i see what you're saying i see what you're saying yeah well how yeah. about this man because like if you buy low and then you re, you get yeah you, your interest rate might not be great for the first while but if you could refinance it into a better rate in the future then you get you entered in at a good price and you got that good rate if i yeah. could help you make this make financial sense now is that something you would consider um well yes i'll have to sit down with mother half and she if she's just to make sure that she's ready for what's about to happen because talking about this you know it's a step towards towards getting a towards, towards moving so it's a lot of things especially at this time we're not doing the holidays so oh, i don't expect you to do anything in the holidays okay i guess okay. what i'm saying is like you me and your wife we could get together go over exactly what the market's doing now what could, what okay. it could be doing in the future what that would okay. look like financially pros and cons of doing it now or waiting and then okay. you guys can make that decision based on what makes the most financial sense for you guys okay yeah, okay. I've got time. Uh, I've got time tomorrow at like five. Yeah. Um, uh, what time on Tuesday? I I should be available. Okay. Well, I schedule all over the place, especially right now this month. So, um, if I uh, if I don't answer, you, is there my number? I call you back. Uh, yeah, this number. Oh, this number. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Do you think you and your wife would both be available at five tomorrow? Uh, I would. I don't know about her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When like when could you when could you find that out? Uh man, we're all we're all over the place, man. Unfortunately, like so we're working both jobs. Uh, uh -huh. She's all she's when I'm not home, she's home. When she's home, I'm home. So we're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 
it's all over the place right now. That's why we haven't really like sat down to do anything. We're just we're thinking about it, but we're not really jumping yet because you know we got we got a lot of things to figure out first. Sure, man. Well, look, George. Yeah. The last thing I'd want for you guys to do was wait a year or two, and now it, everything's becomes a lot more expensive because okay. rates go down, and you didn't understand what all your options were. Yeah. So. Um, cause I know you're trying to get the best deal on the next house. Yeah. When are you guys, when are, when are you both usually free? Um, usually free would probably be maybe Friday. If everything, if everything works out, usually on Fridays, late night, like around super late though. It's like six, seven o'clock. So nice. we have some time to actually sit down and not do nothing. That's fine with me. <laughs> you want to do a... Yeah. Can you think a six would work for the both of you guys? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, all right. Yeah, and again, like I don't expect you guys to do anything during the holidays. It's really just yeah. a matter of like what makes the most financial sense for you guys. Yeah. And uh, how do you end up with the best payment in the forever home? You know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, is there any reason why you guys wouldn't make it to that uh, six p.m. on Friday? Uh, no, unless something crazy comes up, it should be fine. Okay. All right. I'm going to send yeah. you a calendar invite. The email I have, I'm going to send you a text as well to confirm. Um, and George, I will see you on Friday at six. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. There's my appointment. Yeah. I almost didn't call this guy. Um, that's called urgency. Another Asian. Um, we went heavy into urgency during one of our accelerator calls last week. You guys need to understand how to apply urgency for the holiday objection and the springtime objection. So I'm waiting until after the holidays, I'm waiting until after springtime. I'm waiting for interest rates. That's actually how I, um, two years ago, I called this guy. I talked about it in my first vlog uh, two days ago. Let's uh, talk to some dude. He was like, I'm gonna sell next year for better prices. I'm like, what if that doesn't happen? And he's like, oh, maybe you're right. So we met up, we listed his home two days later and we didn't have to wait a year. I have a feeling that this guy might flake. Friday's still five days out. Hello? Hey, Charles, this is Aaron. You spoke to my agent last week. She mentioned you wanted to sell your Marysville house for a one in South Dakota, is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> then what notes am I looking at? You got any plans to move? No, I'm traveling right now in a travel trailer. Nice, sounds fun. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, am I, am, I, am I having a stroke here or? <laughs> what am I looking at? Are do you do you not have plans to sell this one to um, put your kids in a new one? Is that not the plan? I was thinking about leveraging the house as part of the deal, but look, Charles, yeah, it sounds like a... look, Charles, it sounds like you've definitely made the decision you want to do this. It's just a matter of just telling your kids. Let's you and me hop on a Zoom call. I can show you exactly how we can do that this next time around. Work out a plan that doesn't really get in the way of your kids. And then you can let them know what that plan is. Yeah. I've got time tomorrow. Um, at, hey, let's make this next time the last time and let's make sure it actually works out, okay? Hey, that's all on you. That's my specialty. I'll talk to you Wednesday, okay? All right. All right, talk to you later. All right, that's uh, my second appointment. How long are your appointments? It depends, man. Sometimes they're like an hour, sometimes they're two. Depends on how much of a yapper they are. What if they don't yap at all and just let you race through the presentation? Oh, that's that's boner city, dude. That's called boner city. Oh, if they don't yap at all and let me just do my presentation? That's fucking, that's a charter jet ride over to boner city. All the way out here from the Philippines, I got some nice objection handlings from you and I can say that I can confidently handle objections and I even enjoy doing phone calls because of you, Aaron. Bro, that's amazing. Thanks for saying that, Ezekiel. That's fucking awesome, dude. I won't be able to eat until five or six. I won't be able to eat until dinner time. And it's, that's kind of the way it's been going lately. I'll just skip my lunch because I'm back to back on shit I need to do. And then my first meal is dinner. Just got done live streaming for two hours. I set two listing appointments, but I totally neglected mango all day. And it's four, it's like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Hey. Oh, hi. Hey. Were you alone all day? He can literally play by himself all day. Cause like, watch this. All he does is just play with this towel. He just shreds it. <laughs> He shreds this bamboo tooth, uh, toothbrush. 
I have. He just shreds it. Like that's all he does all day. And he loves it. I drove 40 fucking minutes out to to this listing appointment here. Just got to the house. About to step inside to meet with the seller for the first time. And the goal obviously is to walk out with a signed agreement. This guy is gonna move in like April, June-ish. But let's see if I can uh, speed things up. Okay, so <laughs> that appointment, I don't think it went well. Um, the wife was like 100,000 above what was realistic. And like, you know, if, if you if you watch my academy content, you know how I am where like, I'm not gonna take an overpriced listing and I'm gonna be straight up real upfront and honest about what exactly their home is gonna sell for. And I do it in a polite and gentle way. But this lady was, I mean, the wife was so upset. She started crying and the husband was like, no, I totally understand why it would sell for that price. But the wife got upset and um, that kind of, that, that took things a little south. But these guys actually have a lot more urgency than I thought. I thought they'd be able to uh, wait until like deeper into the spring, summertime to list. But like these guys are actually urgently needing to sell. So this, if I follow up correctly and that, and that lady's not mad at me, I think this could be a listing that happens like this month. Right back home, just came from the gym. Um, I just also hopped on a really late sales call for the accelerator. She ended up not buying. Um, so that's the day. That's the day. Ah. They, they always tell me like, I really need to do this. I really need to do this. And at the end of the day, it, like they know it's fear. They know they're stopping themselves. They know that it's their own irrational fear getting in the way, like a fear of failure, fear of it's not gonna work out, fear of like, I'm not capable. It's like, all it always comes down to those beliefs. And it sucks because for as long as you have those beliefs, you're not gonna get to where you want in life. You're always gonna settle with what you have if you have those beliefs. Anyway, I'm calling it a night. Thanks for watching. If you will. If you made it to this point, I want to know who you are because I don't even know who watched my last vlog. I think I made it too long. If you made it to this point, I want to know exactly who you are. Type in the comments below. Fear of failure is not going to get me and I'll know who made it to this point. Thanks for watching, guys.